Hello everybody and welcome to the Honda S800 update number 31. We spent another Monday in the garage and we we're excited because we made some progress. And let me tell you, we turned some music on and we just start working on the car. It's kind of relaxing. I look forward to it, to be honest with you. All right, guys, so what do we do today? Well, Elise got the carpet glued down. We'll show you that here in a bit. And we're gonna ask you guys for some help because we have a question about these random tab thingies. We'll show you that here in a second as well. And I started to go ahead and do kind of a little mini parts layout of the master clutch slave cylinder, this hybrid thing. I think it's the brake cylinder. We'll look at that as well. But besides that, we took it easy today. We're kind of in limbo right now because we're waiting on parts from Ryan and we have some ideas here that we'll share with you at the end of the video. All right guys, let's get started. All right, now Elise is gonna tell us what she did with the carpet. Okay, the first thing I did today is I glued down this one and this one, which is really exciting because they're in here now. And at this point, we really like that we have this kind of like accent red strip, so we're planning to keep that at this point. Also, I went ahead and fitted and measured these for this interior segment here. But the question David mentioned is we're not sure what these tab bolt screw things are for and we're not sure if they need to remain exposed or if we can cover them with the carpet. So if you guys have any ideas, please let us know. And on this side today, we also glued this part down. I glued that one down before, but this was new today. Also, once this is fully cured, we're going to go from the underneath and cut the holes for the spaces where the seats attach. So that is another step that is coming yet here. And again, got this one ready, but waiting to figure out what we're doing about these little guys. All right, as far as the tunnel or central console, 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 um, you could buy something from Otterman. I think it's the, like the original little cover and there's an armrest. So I might pick those up from him because that's gonna go ahead and finish everything off and it's kind of the same color. It's a little darker black, but it's still gonna look really good. But uh, I'm gonna look at the parts catalog from him here today and probably place an order for those parts so we can kind of finish off the interior carpet wise. So this is what I did with the dual master cylinder. Uh, so I had a bag, this bag right here, and it was full of parts. And what I did is I dumped it out and I had some bolts. So I put it in a new bag and I had these and I have no idea what these go to. I'm assuming these might go to the carburetor or they might be some type of brake thing, but I'm not sure because in the diagram, uh, those are not in there, so I separated them. But then I found another little bag and I had some pieces to the master cylinder and when I laid it out, it was a lot more uh, easier to understand. It wasn't as complex as I thought. Um, I put this little piece together right here, uh, but then when I started getting to these components here and referencing the diagram, I realized that I might be missing a few of these little rubber end caps and this little seal right here. So I believe Otterman might sell um, this stuff as well. So I'm gonna place that order. But a lot of this looks like it's in great condition. It looks like we have everything, but again, we're missing a few of the little gaskets, which is gonna be important uh, to keep the seal in the master cylinder whenever we have brake fluid in there. But I'm really pumped up because, um, it, like I said, once you have it all laid out the way I did it, uh, you start understanding what you have, uh, the condition of the parts are good, and then we know what we're missing. So that was some progress. So check these bad boys out. What I did is I buffed out the gauges, the glass on it, and uh, they came out really, really nice. Um, so what I did is I just got a damp paper towel with water, cleaned off the face, and then got an alcohol prep pad, cleaned off the face, and some dirt came off, not a lot. And then what I did is I got some uh, a real light compound, polishing compound, and I used a little buffing pad, and I got these uh, to really come out really good, and the reflection on them look really nice. And after looking at this one, uh, the thing about gauges is they're like a watch. Um, a lot of pieces, a lot of uh, fragile pieces. And uh, so I'm probably gonna just leave this, uh, I'm not gonna take it apart because everything looks good except the discoloration there, but that's fine. Uh, but the gauges themselves, uh, as far as the lenses and the glass lenses, they really came out really nicely. So got those cleaned up. 
So I thought I would show you guys how I order parts from Michael Ortman. He's like the guy that you buy parts for these cars. And so he sent me a PDF. And what you have to do is you have to scroll down and you have to find whatever part you're looking for. But he only speaks German. So once you put together an email with the part numbers like I did over here, uh, you essentially have to go to Google Translate and you have to write out a sentence to him tell him what you want and uh, in mine I told him uh, I, you know I hope this email finds you best in health I would like to request a quote for the following parts please and thank you this is from my 1968 Honda S800 convertible please let me know if the parts I am requesting do not fit thank you and then I sent it off to him and then he replies back in German and then I have to translate that but that's how we're gonna get some of these parts I did go ahead and ask him about uh, placing an order for some of those parts for the dual master cylinder that we just looked at so this is exciting hopefully we put in a request and get some good parts so we can move on with our s800 all right, so what is coming up next? So those trim pieces we dropped off with Ryan at Pro Powder Coating here in Grand Junction, he sent them off to one of his buddies to get them straightened out. We're super appreciative of that. And when they come back, we'll put them on. We polished them. We polished the chrome so they look really good. Also, the the long aluminum trim piece for the gauge cluster is gonna be done as well. That's getting Cerakoted. If you're not familiar with that, it's a whole different uh, coating process. It's a lot thinner, used for tighter tolerances, and we get to keep our lettering so we don't have to go back and pencil it in or paint it back in there. Uh, so once we do that, we're gonna put the gauges that we just polished up, up the lenses, and we're gonna put everything back together and it's gonna look really, really nice. And you guys are gonna be really impressed by that. So what else are we gonna do? We're probably gonna go get a quote for the seats. Uh, see about getting those rear poster. They're very simple. Hopefully the upholstery company sees that as well and we don't get charged a lot for that. But essentially we're getting down to the nitty gritty. I'm gonna get that uh, master dual master cylinder put together. I'm gonna order the parts from Otterman and really we're just kind of putting along until we find out about our engine. I mean, that's a big deal. But to be honest with you, that's not gonna be really something that we do if somebody takes it on, which would be super cool because then we could just put it in the car and we could go drive it because that's the ultimate goal also if you guys uh like hondas then you should check out this video we made a while back of us driving our 1991 acura nsx and uh, it's a great video so it will pop up at the end of this video so click it uh definitely if you're a honda fan you will enjoy it well guys thanks for watching we appreciate it this was a short simple video but stay tuned because we got some stuff coming up all right guys take care